Hey Pilots, Hobbs back yet again, this time bringing you the Raider Mech. Alright, as always, you know, pausing a little bit for the mech stats when they show up. But this mech is meant to get up close and personal and be very, very mean. It's a little bit lighter than the other medium mechs, so pay attention, you gotta be careful. This is in the, an assassin as well, it's just like the Berserker and the Infiltrator, so compared to the Assault, you want to be a little bit less on the front line and a bit more flanking and trying to, you know, uh sneak attack and uh, yeah that's what the raiders great for it's also great for rushing people down with its special ability which of course i'll get into but yeah let's get started all right so the weapons that you start off with uh, when the raider when you first get it are the reflac as your primary weapon and the corsair kla as the secondary weapon i'm going to go over those in a little bit first i kind of want to go over the ability and the ability is called blitz and as you can probably guess by the name it's meant for rushing people down, and what it does is that it increases your walking speed and also your boost speed for about seven seconds by a lot. Trust me, uh, you go, you move faster than a scout when you, you have blitz at, active in your raider. And so, yeah, essentially it be, makes like the the raider mech the fastest B class ever. Oh, but you know, for like seven seconds. But what's also great about it is that you can also shoot your guns while boosting forward while blitz is active. So it makes it a great tool to rush people down when they're trying to escape from you. You can just boost, and you have the extra speed boost, and you can just rush people down with them, and they just cannot get away. And that's what the Raider excels at, is chasing down weakened opponents to the grave, essentially. And as you can tell by the nature of the weapons, the Reflac, uh, this thing excels at close quarters combat. And what the Reflac is, it's, it's, if you've ever seen the mini Flak Cannon on my Vanguard video, or if you've ever seen one on a Scout, it functions very similar, except the Reflac I'd say it, it has a slower rate of fire, but each shot does a little bit more damage than the mini flat cannon. And it also has an added utility of uh, all the little uh, pellets. They can bounce off of uh, the terrain and whatnot, so they can ricochet uh, on the wall like at least once. And, you know, get hit enemies around corners, so you can always keep that in mind. However, I mean, well, the reflack itself is really easy to use. It's just an automatic, it's an automatic shotgun, great for uh, open field engagements and uh, definitely up close. It also has a little bit of mid-range capability on it. However, the thing I don't like about this gun is that it just heats up way, way too fast and the overheat recovery time on the Raider is 5.75 seconds. It's almost 6 seconds as an over, over, uh, over overheat recovery time. It's really, really punishing, so you really gotta watch your heat on the Raider, but the other two weapons on it are much easier as far as heat management, which is why I like them more, but of course I'll get into them later, but yeah. The Reflac is great for learning the Raider and trying to get, you know, uh, trying to get in the groove with the Raider. However, I can definitely say that most of the better Raider pilots don't use this weapon anymore. The real killing power is in the, in the next two weapons. These are like the training wheels of the Raider. Just one last thing about the Reflac. Uh, I tend to find that usually if I click every single time I want to make a shot, instead of just, you know, holding down the automatic fire, my accuracy with it is better, so it's just one small tip. It might help you or it might not, but anyway. So moving on to the secondary weapon, the Corsair KLA. It's a little bit different. It uh, actually has two separate modes, kind of like the Sayer launcher on the incinerator. It's not the Saber launcher, I got to correct it. I accidentally switched a, a B in there, but anyway, uh, it's got two modes. You can switch between the two modes by hitting middle mouse. And the first mode that it starts off with is a, a simple grenade launcher. It's kind of like, I'd say the the way it moves and the projectile speed is similar to one of the Sayers fireballs, but the blast radius and the damage is much more like a tow rocket. In fact, actually, it's more than a tow rocket, both in blast radius and damage. Also, what's more than a tow rocket is that it's the reload time. The reload time for a tow rocket's two and a quarter second. This one's at least, uh, I think it's maybe two and uh, a half seconds, maybe two and three quarters of a second. But yeah, it's it's a very long, it's a longer reload time than most of the other primary. Uh, no, sorry, not the primary, the secondary weapons in the game. So make sure you make your shots count when you're using this. It does have the higher damage, but at that cost, it has a slower rate of fire. So it's got much more burst damage than the tow rocket, but it, you know it. This reload time makes it so that you really want to make sure that you land all your shots. And now the second mode is uh, it's essentially an explosive shotgun. It's an MIRV shot, uh, you know, or just MIRV, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that actually does more damage than the grenade mode. I don't know exactly how much more, but if you land the entirety of the MIRV, uh, it does more damage than the grenade. And so you can get uh, so, and, but that's only good for up close. 
because after a certain range, the MIRV shots, all the little pellets from the MIRV will just explode. As if you see me shoot them and you see like that, those little green things of electricity. Yeah, after a certain range, th those little pellets will just explode and they won't go any further than that. So the MIRV, the MIRV, is essentially just for like literally up close and point blank engagements. But it does a ton of damage, however you gotta learn to lead that and you do not want to miss those because up that close and if you miss your shots with the longer reload time on the KLA, it's really, really punishing and you just, yeah, you cannot afford to miss that. But, you know, the grenade mode's a little bit safer, of course, because it has the big splash damage, the MIRV shot, well, it's like a shotgun, you, you actually have to land a direct hit and it also is not hit scan either. So, yeah, it's a bit more difficult to land the MIRV shot, but it does a lot more damage and that's what the reward is. But yeah, of course, the, and then the grenade mode is just easier. But of course, we're going to be moving on to the next weapon now, so hang on tight. Okay, so just one last thing about the claw before I uh, move on to uh, the T-32 bolt, which is a rank 3 alternate weapon. Uh, yeah, a big part about learning with the Raider is learning which mode you prefer. Uh, sometimes you can switch between the two, although that transformation time in the middle of a fight will generally kill you, unless you're like, uh, unless you shoot and then you're reloading. And so, generally, you're going to want to pick which mode you prefer. I tend to prefer the Merv mode because of the, my favorite weapons on the on the Raider, it, where it tends to be. I usually just pick the Merv mode so I can get up close and do the real damage. And, but the grenade mode is much better for uh, mid mid to uh, mid to range combat or sometimes long range. And so, yeah, you got to learn to pick between the two and learn in which situations is it, is it better to use. So, that's part of being a good Raider. Okay, but now moving on to the actual weapon here, the T-32 bolt. The T-32 bolt itself is pretty, uh, it's not too complicated. What it is, is basically it's a chargeable shotgun. Uh, the longer you charge it, the more damage it does, and when you fully charge it, it does similar damage to a flat cannon. Like, a, a single fully charged shot of the T-32 bolt does similar damage to the flat cannon. And, uh, it has similar DPS to a mini flak if you try to semi-auto fire, as in you just keep clicking. You know, you can rapid fire the the bolt like that, and so uh, it has similar damage per second to the mini flak. And so, what's great is like how you can use it is that you fully charge the shot to initiate a fight, and then after you that you just kind of spam it after that and trying to land the extra shots to help finish your opponents off because you, you know essentially it's alpha striking and you're striking first and striking really hard. And again, this is an assassin mech, so this is why I like the T32 bolt. And plus, because of the nature of the charge function on the T-32 bolt, heat management is much, much easier on uh, with the T-32 bolt on the Raider. So that, that's why I definitely prefer the T-32 bolt. And plus, when you learn how to land a fully charged T-32 bolt and a MIRV at the same time, you nuke the, another mech. I mean, seriously, it's insane how much damage it does in one shot. I mean, just look here. I think that one scout he took that. Yeah, I did about 70% of the damage with just one volley. So yeah, that's how much power that this thing has. How uh, the T32 bolt style compares to uh, the Reflac. Reflac is uh, better suited for uh, you know open combat because of its sustained damage nature. T32 bolt because of the burst weight, you know, peekaboo, flanking, poking around corners and uh, from their flanks, all that jazz. You know, if you've seen my infiltrator video or any other uh, video where I talk about peekaboo. The T-32 Raider is great for that, and so that's why I really like it, because you already know me. I play peekaboo all day against my enemies, so, yeah, this is definitely my favorite Raider, and if you've ever had, uh, if you've ever played with me and you see me in my Raider, you, you know I'm usually rocking this, and yeah, that's what I like it for, just poking around corners and just, you know, giving him a, a bolt and a merv, just nuking them. I love doing that, and of course, have you seen me do with Blitz? How I use Blitz is a little bit differently, because in the Reflack, you use it to rush somebody down. Usually what I do with Blitz uh, when I use the T-32 is I start, I Blitz, and of course I know exactly, and I'm, I, well I hope I know exactly where my target is, and obviously they're prob obviously my target's going to be weakened at that point, so I hit Blitz, and I uh, essentially, I nuke them and I instantly just kill them right on the spot inside the midst of their team, and just rush out of there from the, with the duration of my Blitz, it's so much fun, it, like it's a literal hit and run, it's, it's great, and uh, the T-32 Raider is great for things like that, and that's what the Raider's great for, is literally closing the distance insanely quick with uh, its Blitz ability, and so when you're using the Raider, you really want to make sure you get up close, because especially with the T-32 Bolt, the, the Reflect has some mid-range capability, the Bolt, past close range, 
you might as I mean you're basically shooting them with a pea shooter at that point I mean because it's just it's not gonna do a lot of damage at all and so yeah and that's the one major weakness of the Raider is proximity you have to be close to people in order to be doing a lot of damage to them and so yeah like at mid-range the Raider's gonna suffer a little bit so you gotta generally you want to find out a way to get in close and get in people's faces with the Raider I have to say, the most satisfying part about the Raiders being able to rush people down inside of the midst of their team, kill them, and then get away with a clean kill, that that's always fun. But yeah, and just, you know, just kind of repeating the main points of the Raider is that you do want to try to flank, because you are much lighter than, a, than an assault, you got about, like, 70 less armor, so, you know, catch people by surprise, flank from behind, the side, and try to strike first, that way you're going to have it a lot better, because if you, if you can manage to, uh, uh, hit strike first inside of dueling like you know one-on-one -on -one, you're you, you have much better chances of victory versus you know if you had been the one surprised because again the raider is an assassin mech so you want to surprise people because the element of surprise is the raider's best friend all right but let's move on to the prestige weapon shall we okay so the prestige weapon is my favorite weapon in the game can you guess it yeah it's the eoc repeater now how the eoc repeater compares to the T-32 on the Raider, I'd actually say the playstyles are actually fairly similar as far as corner poking and, uh, you know, just make sure you rely on burst damage and, you know, staying around cover and whatnot. Uh, but the main difference between the T-32 Raider and then this is that, like I said, the T-32 and the Merv together is just such a deadly combo. However, with the EOC, I actually prefer, I actually recommend you, and I actually prefer as well, that uh, you use the grenade mode instead of the merv mode because as you already know the EOC repeater is really hard to do, hard to use in fact and if you haven't seen any of my other videos regarding the EOC repeater go watch my infiltrator video that way uh, you can get like a much more in-depth uh, uh, tutorial about how to use the EOC repeater because you know I don't want to repeat what I said about the repeater <laughs> okay yeah, a lame sense of humor but but yeah, anyways, check out my Infiltrator video if you need a tutorial on how to use the EOC Repeater and what all the, you know, the little intricacies of it are, so I don't have to repeat myself. But yeah, uh, as far as the EOC Repeater, I, I suggest you use a grenade mode a little bit more, because even though a fully a full EOC volley plus a Merv will instantly kill a technician, it's just insanely hard to land because of how hard that the e all six EOC pucks is to land on somebody, and then plus the Merv itself, which is much more difficult to land than the grenade. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's really insanely hard. It, it, pulling off a full EOC Merv combo is just, it's ridiculously hard. Even the more experienced Raider pilots have a hard time doing it. In fact, most Raider pilots will actually stick with the T-32 Volt because compared to the EOC, it's a lot easier to use. However, I do like the EOC because, like I said, the EOC is a personal favorite of mine. And plus, it can do what the T-32 Bolt does, but at medium range because... And it does similar damage as, like, a T-32 Merv combo. So a full six pucks plus a grenade will do... is pretty much like a... is just a Bolt and a Merv right there at medium range, which is what I like about it. So it increases the range of your Raider and also it gives you the added benefit of being able to have, like, you know, slightly suppressive and, uh... That's the suppressive nature of the EOC repeater as well. Just talking about the ability is that when I, usually when I use this weapon and when I use Blitz, I usually use it to escape because, you know, that speed boost is really helpful when you're trying to get away. So I Blitz more defensively when I use the EOC repeater because, as I said before, the EOC repeater is really hard to use aggressively. And so, you know, it's really tough to try to rush somebody down. I mean, unless I know that they're repairing, then I can rush in with the EOC repeater, get a full... EOC volley ready along with a grenade and I just, you know, take them out inside the middle of their team. However, that's really hard to do because of how fast I'm moving. And, uh, oh man, I got like completely destroyed right there in that clip. First a brawler, then a sniper takes me out. But, uh, yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, right, uh, but yeah, uh, using the EOC aggressively is really hard. And this is a good example of the EOC Merv combo. That, that brawler went from half health to like, you know, a fifth left. But yeah, the EOC Merv combo is really hard to land, but the EOC Grenade combo, it'll do similar damage to the T-32 Merv. And yeah, it's really great, and it gives a lot more uh, range functionality. However, beware, because the EOC Repeater, of course, is a little bit, uh... It falls short a little bit in, uh, you know, close quarters combat because of how uh, slow the refire rate is, but of course, this is the maximum burst potential of the Raider. You're not gonna get any higher damage with, like, a single volley. 
in any other uh, with any other setup inside the of the raider. And if you add any any uh, like offensive items like a, a high explosive charge or a detonator, it'll just increase it even more. You know, again, you have to know how to use the EOC repeater. But you know, the playstyle of the EOC repeater and just how the weapon works, it's much more defensive than the T32 bolt. And so I recommend using this setup mostly on like uh, siege or missile assault, things where people are bunched up a bit more and you're going to be defending a lot more rather than trying to advance. And so those are the modes I recommend that you use the EOC repeater on. You can still use it for team deathmatch, although it's going to be a little bit harder to do it because of how. Uh, you know, how much everyone's moving and how more aggressive that you need to be inside that game mode rather than defensive, so, you know, it's just, you know, just, it's just a small recommendation there. I mean, again, it all comes down to what you prefer. Like I said, the EOC is my favorite, T32 is easily a close second, but I absolutely do not like the reflag. That's just my personal preference, but, you know, you might feel differently, so don't let my own opinion stop you. Uh, pick whichever weapon that you think will work best and just roll with it. You know, this final kind of thing going over before things close up is that remember to, you know, flank. This is an assassin mech, so flank, get behind people, be sneaky, do whatever you can with the raider. And, you know, that's the main way you want to play this. If you try to play it like an assault mech, you're just going to get killed because of uh, how light it is compared to that. But yeah, and of course, you know, quickly going my items internals. Items are still the same shield, detonator, and repair charge, and the internals are still. Basic deflectors, evasive device, and the uh, air compressor. But yeah, this was my Raider tutorial. I hope this uh, helped to introduce to you the Raider mech. And remember guys, this is not an easy mech and it's going to take you a while to get used to. And so if you're fairly new, don't think you're going to pick it up right away. But I hope this tutorial helped you learn it a little bit better. Next time will be the Scout mech. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, do what you like. But this is Soldier Hob signing off.